exploratory data analysis right so here in this video we're gonna learn all about this thing all about this big buzz right so here for example we're gonna understand loan default analysis right so in ADA we will be studying a loan default data here you notice this one word this one word default now if you are someone who is not familiar with the banking terms then this particular word might be you know bothering you don't worry about it i'll just give you a simplest example in absolute layman term no technical is into that all right so in very layman term let's say you are paying certain emi and you missed that emi continuously for 90 days right for 90 days you are not paying that emi that's where you turn out to be a defaulter right so the moral of this story is if you miss to pay the emi continuously for next 90 days you turn out to be a defaulter this 90 days will vary by bank or by product all right so this completely depends on which bank from which bank you have taken the loan and what sort of loan that you have taken right mostly in general it is 90 days but this varies by bank and by product okay so in this analysis this is not a subject to study whether it's going to be 90 days or not what is the study point the study point would be what sort of customer can turn out to be defaulter or non-defaulter okay so for this what we're gonna take is where we're gonna get the data that's from the Kaggle so in Kaggle on Kaggle we have this data side right this is very much similar to the real life banking data okay so if there is someone if you have some friend working in banks in analytics domain you can check with them this looks very similar to that okay so this sort of data we are going to use in uh, in this the data is 571 mb three files we would have which we will be using for analysis about the data we will explore more in the coming videos all right so what next do we have in this video why this video is so long okay not this video means the series is so long we are going to make a series of somewhere 10 to 12 videos right so we will continue we will try to cover end to end thing if you are beginner then that's going to be uh, you know very useful for you and if you are on intermediate level then still it's going to be very very helpful for you or if you are someone who are still in your comfort zone but trying to come out of that but if you are not getting the real opportunities to work on that and explore on that then still it's going to be for you okay so what all we are going to learn in this video the things which we will be learning is feature selection feature engineering missing value imputation binning variable deriv derivation all right variables segmentation data exploration behavior observation insights derivation visualization and many more all right isn't it exciting yeah it is okay so just be with us right just stay with us and follow this series you will really enjoy and learn a lot all right so see you in the next video